symmetrical components. Way back in 1918, one of the most powerful tool was devised with the unbalanced polyphase circuit, which was discussed by C. L. Fortescue at a meeting of American Institute of Electrical Engineers. That work titled Method of Symmetrical Coordinates Applied to the Solution of Polyphase Network. That is to deal with the unbalanced phases in the network can be analyzed using the, this particular symmetrical component. That we will study then how we are applying this symmetrical component method tools for our unbalanced fault. <coughs> that is the goal of the symmetrical component analysis is that the symmetrical component analysis is very useful to for dealing with the unbalanced three phase fault. That is in the case of balanced fault the all the phase currents that is or a line currents I, I, B, I, C or phase 1, 2, 3 they are all equal magnitude and phase angle is 120 degree with each other and such type of problem can be tackled by analyzing for phase basis but in the event of unbalanced fault the system is become unbalanced therefore the all the three phase currents are not equal and their magnet their phase angle is also not the same therefore such unbalanced phasor can be analyzed by this powerful tool that is called as symmetrical component analysis the cause of the electrical power system fault is we know that it is because of the insulation breakdown or so many reasons to have a the insulation failure because of that there is a fault occurs in the system. This breakdown that is the insulation failure can be due to the variety of different factors that were seen in the uh, symmetrical while dealing with a symmetrical fault that is the causes of the faults are the lightning there is a discharge of the electricity on the overhead transmission lines wires blowing together in the wind there is short circuit animals or plants coming in contact with the, the wire accidentally and salt spray or pollution on the insulator these are some of the reasons because of that there is a fault is occurring in the system because of that there is a heavy current will flow if the system is the the fault is the balance in the nature then analysis is made per phase basis we know that that is the same thing i am discussing here there are mainly two types of faults they are occurring in the, the system that is they are divided in two heads one is the symmetrical fault here the system remains balanced these faults are relatively rare that is we are seen in the the last uh, module that is in the symmetrical fault the statistics that is only the 5 percent of the faults are symmetric in nature but they are easiest to analyze means it is uh, analyzing the symmetrical fault is very easy that can be made per phase basis however there is another type of the fault in the system they are occurring frequently in the, the power system those are called as unsymmetrical fault that is the unsymmetrical fault is no longer a balanced one because it is the name itself suggests it is a unbalanced symmetrical fault means the system is no longer balanced but more difficult to analyze it is analyzing the unbalanced fault is a more difficult task the most of the common type of the fault they are occurring in the, the power systems are the single line to ground fault in short it is called as SLC fault followed by the line to line fault that is called as L to L fault and there is another fault that is double line to ground fault that is DLC fault that is 
double line to ground fault these are some of the uh, these are the the set faults then once again there is one more unbalanced fault that is what we are calling is the series fault it is because of opening of a circuit then because of this fault the fault currents are very high they cause equipment damage due to both thermal and mechanical process in the thermal process because of very high current there is a the rise in the temperature of the equipments because of that ultimately there is a blowing up of the equipment and in the event of the fault there is a mechanical process also because there is a the accident because of that there is a the vehicles are hitting the towers and other things because of that there is a the mechanical disturbance to the electrical system then the ultimately the goal of our analysis of the the fault is to determine the magnitude of the current present during the fault in the event of the fault what is the magnitude of the the fault current is a, our main motto and to need to determine the maximum current to ensure the devices can survive uh, survive the fault that is you have to see that you have to sense the fault and you have to appropriate measures you have to take so that the our main aim is to survive the devices in the the system in the event of the the fault the ultimately the need of determining the fault current is to determine the maximum current the circuit breakers need to interrupt that is to fix the capacity or correctly size the circuit breakers we need the fault analysis then how you have to deal with the analysis of unsymmetrical system that is the solution is the symmetrical component okay except for the balanced three phase fault fault result in an unbalanced system that is in the event of the symmetrical fault it can be analyzed per phase basis but the other than symmetrical fault fault are result in an unbalanced system means the currents in the all the phases are different the phase angle is not equal because of that there is unbalanced then the most common type of faults as single line to ground fault we are seeing the around 75% of the the faults in the power system are single line to ground fault and line to line fault is around the 10% and double line to ground fault is around 5% and the symmetrical fault is around the 5% these are statistics that were seen as per the survey in the the power system therefore the most the common the fault which is occurring in the the power system is single line to ground fault it is accounting for around 70 to 75% of the total faults because of this single line to ground fault there is a unbalanced occurs system is only unbalanced at the point of the fault because of this unbalanced fault the system is become unbalanced means the currents are different their phase angles is are not equal the easiest method to analyze this type of fault that is unbalanced system operation due to fault is through the use of symmetrical component the solution for analyzing such type of fault is the the symmetrical fault that is why the the cl fault skew statement regarding the symmetrical component that is what we are calling as synthesis of unsymmetrical phases from the their symmetrical component that is a statement is an unbalanced system of n phases can be resolved into n system of balanced phases called symmetrical components of the original phase phases that is if there are n phases n phases unbalanced n phases that n phases unbalanced phases can be resolved into n number of balanced phases that is the first step. what is present is n number of unbalanced phases can be resolved into n number of 
balanced fascia with symmetrical component of the original fascia. The end phases of each set of components are equal in length and angles between adjacent phases of the set are equal. That is, you can resolve n number of unbalanced phases into n number of the balanced phases with the equal length and the angle between them is also equal. This is a, the, what is presented C. L. Fosque in 1980. And also, he published the paper in American Institute of Electrical Engineers, now it is called as IEEE, in the transaction uh, AIE, that is uh, under the title Method of Symmetrical Coordinates Applied to the Solution of Fall Phase Network. In the next session, we will see the how this uh, symmetrical component method is applicable to our unsymmetrical fault.